Whenever the word posture comes to my mind, I always think about my mother asking me to sit straight or stand up straight. Many of us are unaware of the long-term effects of having bad posture. Today's video is a little bit different because I have a subject with me and I will be explaining this topic from a physical therapist's point of view. Keep watching ahead to know more. My patient here thinks that he's in the most comfortable position to work. But I'll point out why this is not a good posture. Firstly, his neck position is such that it overstretches the neck muscles. His elbow and wrist position is not very well supported. This can lead to nerve impingement or carpal tunnel syndrome. Also in this position, his back is not very supported. Sitting in this posture for a long period of time will cause tightness in front body and weakness in back body muscles. To correct, we start from the bottom up. First, place the feet flat on the floor so hip and knee are at 90 degree angle. To straighten the spine, roll the pelvis forward and squeeze the shoulder blades together. And finally, tuck the chin in to correct the neck posture. Chin tuck movement should be horizontal. First very simple posture exercise is squeezing the shoulder blades together. To do this, push your shoulders down and pull your elbows back, hold for 10 seconds and release. This exercise can be easily done at your desk chair. Before I go ahead, I want to please request you all to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and also press on the bell icon so you get notified every time my new video comes out. Now let's continue. Next set of exercises are on a mat. As you can see, the patient is on his belly and I'm having him reach overhead and pull his arms down while actively squeezing the shoulder blades together. Next, I'm explaining to have his arms out to the side and pointing his thumb up to the ceiling, then lift his arms off the floor. All these details are very important to activate the right muscle group. Different hand positions activate a different muscle. So you don't want to spend your workout time doing the wrong exercise. Finally, he has his arms by the side and he's trying to lift them off the floor. Once again, keeping his gaze forward. Don't underestimate these exercises. They just look simple. But when you get to do them, you really feel the challenge, especially with the weak shoulder. Now that we have come to the end, I hope you understood this topic and now you can self-correct your posture and also do some of these exercises shown in the video to improve your posture. Take care, see you next time. Bye.